Welcome back to Yakuza Zero. In the previous episode, we did some very side content. We tried to go on a date with a girl and it failed. And we protected another girl from a fight. I still need to go and check out the empty lot, but it looks like there might be something to intervene in over here. Yeah. Please help me. What are you looking at? You want some of this too? Always intervene. Boiling the innocent is lower than low. Lay off. Ha, you think that scares me? I'll teach you to mind your own damn business. Uh, these are... I, I feel like the, the hooligans, they kind of, they scale with the game. I feel like when we started this game, they didn't have such big health bars. That said, I do now have a goddamn business motorcycle. Which is broken, but still smashing. Motorcycles are really good for hitting people with, who'd have thought? Sorry, I won't do it again. Thank you so much, please take this. You've got a slightly battered toughness light. He is crazy strong. What's our inventory looking like? Is it full up yet? Hmm, not quite. Uh, I do want to eat something. Let's eat this steamed bun. That gives us a little bit of health. Um, I feel like the, the lunch sets give us quite a lot of health, so maybe save that until I'm a bit lower. Right, yeah, I think... Uh, I was going to check out this corner here in the previous episode, so I'm going to keep heading over there in the champion district. Oh, oh, yeah, there's a card. That little card find a very useful, the Mihotono Type B card. Yes, yeah, so we want to head in here and keep an eye out for the guy who wants a big fight. Okay, there's some... Oh, that's not Mr. Shakedown. I'm happy to fight these lot. Men in black. Does seem to be quite a lot of them in this group. Five. Uh, is there anything I can grab to hit them with? There's a bicycle over here, but I'm not seeing a blue arrow above it. Oh, that worked nicely. Okay, dash at this guy. Oh, that didn't work very well. I got my location wrong. In fact, I'm not even sure if that guy I was swinging at was even part of the fight there. Are you even human? Or am I dancer? Okay, so looks like there's something enterable here. Uh, or maybe just down here. Earth Angel. What's Earth Angel? Okay, this sounds like there's a card in here somewhere. Is that it there? I got the Miku Abeno Type A card. That's given me an extra CP, very nice. So what have we here? Some sort of bar? Yes, sir. Hello. What would you like? Uh, I can get myself a whiskey. All of these just restore a tiny amount of health. Uh, let's get a Macallan Scotch. Yeah. Dine at eateries ten times. This is the standard of the Macallan line aged entirely in sherry barrels. It's perfect for those looking to enjoy the Macallan without breaking the bank. It may be the standard of the line, but it's guaranteed to deliver the Macallan taste. You simply have to experience its sweet, full flavour and bouquet for yourself. If you don't mind me asking, what sort of work do you do? Hmm? Hmm? I work in real estate. Ah, there's a lot of money in real estate these days, but that doesn't mean it's easy. You must have to make some tough choices. Why don't you tell me about it? Uh. Okay, let's see. She's coming on to us. Don't mind. Always quite fancied an older woman. <sighs> I ended up telling you a lot more than I intended. You know a lot about real estate though, don't you? <laughs> that comes with owning a business in a town, in this town. Opening up the bar was a bureaucratic nightmare and staying in business isn't easy either. Aww. I'm getting older and tired more easily. I should start looking for someone younger who could take over the bar. What kind of a person are you thinking of? Mm. She'd have to be a beauty, so similar she could be my double. Strong and resourceful, able to deal with trouble. An ex-motorcycle gang member would be best. Finding someone who meets all those requirements might be tough. Thanks for the talk, though. Your advice will come in handy. I'm always happy to help. Let me know if you ever need advice, okay? You don't mind if I bother you with my work problems? <laughs> of course not. Don't forget to come by and see me here too, okay? Hot. Uh. Thanks. I'll keep that in mind. Earth Angel's mama has joined your team as an advisor. Oh, that was nice. Oh, she's good. 
So she's got three stars on the ability rank, and she's got like a double circle for her supportability for restaurants. Brilliant. Oh, she does charge quite a lot though. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so let's let's leave here. Let's continue exploring uh, the champion district. Okay. So it looks like there's somewhere else. Can I get through here? Is there somewhere just to my right here? Enter this. Another bar. I'm already drunk. This has turned into a pub crawl. Guess I'll sit over there today. Word of advice? You'd better not sit there, buddy. Mm. Hmm? Is this seat reserved? Something like that. Besides, why hide in the corner? Come on over. Let's lift a glass or three. Uh. Ooh, substory. Camarojo undercover. Sure. <laughs> you sure can pound them. Looks like you can hold your liquor. Yeah. Looks like you could hold your own in a fight, too. Mind telling me how you make your living? Mm. Hey, you don't have to say if you don't want to. Just, you know, curious. Yeah. No, it's not that. It's a little complicated, but I had to go straight recently. Mm. Had to go straight, eh? So you used to be... What, whoa? Boss man, the usual. Hey. Of course. Right away. That's the seat I was just... Shh. Mm. Hmm? You seem a little oblivious, so let me bring you up to speed. The guy who just came in? Whoa, don't look now. He's a mobster. Is that right? Huh. You're not phased in the least. Well, I suppose that makes sense, you being ex-Yakuza and all. From the information I pieced together, he waits there for customers to come to him and buy weapons. Weapons? Ah. Yeah. Guns smuggled in from China. Cheap to source, and worth a bundle selling to the Japanese. How do you know all this? <laughs> I'm a journalist. You know, the magazine, Weekly Shinjitsu. I write for him. Yeah. No, can't say I do. So, you're a journalist? The name's Kasuga. I'm Kiryu. Kiryu-kun, huh? There. It's in the memory bank now. See, I'm investigating the dark side of Kamarocho. This town's teeming with shady characters. I want to get the inside scoop and blow the covers clear off. The dark side of Kamarocho, huh? Mm. I'm not sure that's a good idea. One false step and you could find yourself in way over your head. <laughs> <laughs> it's no problem. I've been through worse. I know when to hold them and when to fold them. Barkeep, whiskey and water. Hey. Right away, sir. Boss man, I'm stepping out for a minute. Certainly. See? They go out together, and he sells his guns. I see. For my story, I need a sense of gritty realism. I need to get close to the action, even if that means taking risks. So here's my plan. I'm going to try buying a gun from him. Nani. What? Anyone can just walk up and buy a gun? Ah. Yeah, if you sit next to him and order a whiskey and water. Supposedly, that's the signal. Oh, yeah. The guy earlier ordered a whiskey and water, too. I was sceptical at first, but now I'm convinced. I'm going to take a shot at it. Not today, but soon. Oi. No good can come from a civilian striking a match under criminal affairs. Play with fire and you'll get burned. <laughs> You're worried for me? Appreciate it. Maybe next time I can interview you, Kiryu-kun. If I'm in the mood. Hey, don't be that way. Tell you what. Let's drown our sorrows here again sometime. Except next time we drink on your tab, Kiryu-kun. In return, I'll tell you some stories you wouldn't believe. And we can have made a new friend, or at least started a friendship meter with someone. Okay, interestingly not. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep looking around the champion district. See if there's anything else down here. Oh, there's someone in the corner. And there's someone there who wants to fight me. Let's do this first. Foreign fam. Mm, hurts. Somebody. Oi. Hey, are you okay? <laughs> I not feel good. Please. She's hurt. She can't even speak properly. Offer help. What should I hand over? Okay. Uh, 
Toughness light restores a little bit of health. Let's, yeah, one of these will probably do. Here, take this. Oh, I feel much better. Thank you. What happened to you? It happened a little while ago. I lose my yob. Your yob? Yeah, my yob. My yob for money. Oh, you mean your job. It's job, not yob. My yob job. I work the sexy job, but I no take it anymore. I run away from sexy job. But owner, he catch me, and he roughed you up. He take my passport. I no have passport now. If the immigration find me now, I get kicked out Japan. Then I no can send money to family back home. Passport? I assume you mean your passport. Come on, Kiryu. You can obviously figure out she means a passport. Yeah, passport. Some Japanese easy to say, some not. I practice, but this the hard speak. She does seem to have a problem pronouncing words with P sounds in them. I need pizza. 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 Yes, pizza. I have the pizza. I work good. I'd be happy. I'm not sure what you mean by pizza. Oh, come on, Kiryu. I know have the pizza. Without the pizza, I in trouble. Need the pizza, but no can get the pizza. It's so bad. I get that she wants a pizza, but what the heck is it? Come on. Well, if she's having trouble with the way the P sounds, that would mean pizza would be pizza, yes. She means pizza. Passport pizza, come on. Pizza, pizza. That has to be it. The pizza she wants must be a pizza. Or maybe it's a visa. Ah, it could be a visa. She wants a visa. She's been saying it over and over. She must have a mindset on this stuff. Yeah, I guess I can see how that would make you happy. Yes, everyone happy with the pizza. I want to be happy too. I get the pizza, I work job. No pizza, no job. Family no eat. Weird. Why would she need a pizza in order to work? She needs a visa, you dollop. Mm. She really must love pizza. <laughs> Maybe eating the stuff gives her the energy to get back to work. That's some pizza passion right there. You know where I get the pizza? Do I know where to get it? Sure, I think so. Ooh, really you know. Where? Don't they sell them around here? I've heard they've even started to deliver them right to your house. That true? This country is so advanced. I want to ask your assist. You get me the pizza? Nani. What? Me? Need the pizza. Pizza cost money. I know got money. This must have been a difficult um, side quest to translate. Um, some ingenuity must have gone into making this work in English. No money, no pizza. I think you get it other way. Please. You get the pizza for me. Mm. Easy for you to say. I was hurt and fallen. Nobody come. You only one. In all of Japan, you only nice man. No one else. You only one I can ask. Please. You get me the pizza. I'll help. But of course, I'm going to have to get her a pizza. You know, the game's not going to let me go straight to the visa, is it? This girl can work again if she eats some pizza. All right, if that's all it takes, why not help her out? Okay, I'll see what I can do. Ooh, you do it for me. Thank you very much. Then I work. Then I be happy. I had pizza once. Now my pizza time gone. No more left. Well, I guess you do have to get it through it before it goes bad. Sorry, I got no money for pizza. You take this? Please. You got a secret wallet. Okay, I got this. I'll be back with a hot and fresh one. Yes, I so happy. My name's Samantha Thomas. Please, get me the pizza. Uh, sure. I'm Kiryu. You can count on me. Kiryu-san, thank you. Mm. Now, where do I find pizza? It's Western food, so maybe a burger joint will carry it. Smile burger might work. Okay, I want to know more about this secret wallet she's given me. Uh, this this raises your financial luck slightly, and when shaken down, you can stash money inside, reducing the amount taken from you. Okay, so that might be worth equipping when I go into a fight with Mr. Shakedown. However, is that a gear or an accessory? It's an accessory, okay, so... Yeah, I, I could maybe swap it with this one when I'm going into a Mr. Shakedown fight. Yeah, okay, I like that. Right, so we need to find the burger joint. So there's not going to be a burger joint here. That's Korean. Okay, we've got a little exclamation mark on the map showing us where we need to go to for that. Um, yeah, okay, let's head there. Uh, I can 
exit out the bottom here. Oh, hello. Another exclamation mark has appeared on the map. Curious to know what that means. Do I need to go back into... This is the bar where I met Kasuga, the reporter investigating Kamurocho's dark side. Okay, so I can go back in here and continue this side quest. All right, might as well do that. If Kasuga's here, I'll let him tell me one of his stories. Kasuga's here. Guess I'll say hello. No, don't say hello. He's clearly talking to the mobster. Barkeep, whiskey and water. Hey. Yes, sir. Coming right up. Mm hmm. Hmm. Whiskey and water. The guy next to him. It's the gun dealer. To let him know you want a gun, you sit next to him and order a whiskey and water. That's how it went last time. Mm. Kasuga must be making his move right now. Bosman's stepping out for a bit. I wonder if the barkeep is in on this in some way. You know, why does the gun dealer tell the barman every time he leaves? Are you a reporter? Yeah. Huh? Your writing's a dead giveaway. Besides, you've been snooping around for a while, sneaking glances my way. Yeah. No, uh, I haven't. Shut your hole. We'll see if you sing a different tune minus a few white and pearlies. Follow me. <gasps> We're gonna have to follow and help him, protect him, protect his dentures. Now he's done it. I told him to stay out of it. Guess I can't ignore this. Honestly, I'm not a reporter. Help! I'm sick of clowns like you. Got no choice but to make an example of you, so the next joker thinks twice. Oi. That's enough. You were in the bar too. What's it to you? He's my sworn brother. You mind backing off? What? Sworn brother? Then he's not a reporter. Well, at least you're no civilian. <laughs> Fine, I'll take your word for it. If you can prove it with your fists. I think I can. Does he have friends or is it just him? Let's see. Just him. And I've got a sign. Wow. <laughs> How about that? Fists don't lie. Nor do signs. Satisfied? You'll back off now? Fair enough. A deal's a deal. Seriously? Then listen. About that gun. Sell me a firearm. Oi. Hey, Kasuga. You got nerve. I like that. I usually don't deal with first-timers, but I'll make an exception this time. <laughs> yes! Score! Kiryu-kun, you saved me back there. Thanks, man. Go on now, drink up. It's on me. Kasuga, you got balls getting the deal done after that hairy start. That's some nerve. <laughs> That's the least of what it takes to chase down what my readers want. Thanks to you, I got a killer story. How about Up in Arms? A frightening first-hand focus on the district's deadliest dealers. Sound exciting? Better hope our new friend doesn't read your story. Mm. Now what to do with this little toy? Know where I can dump it? Nani. What? After all that effort, you're ditching the gun? Well, sure. I mean, I am a law-abiding <laughs> citizen. All I need is a story. The pen is mightier than the gun. Mm. I honestly don't get what makes a journalist tick. All right, how about I gift this to you as your reward? I get this feeling you're just dumping it on me, but okay. Gratefully accepted, thanks. You've got a 9mm automatic pistol. Well then, what shall I write about next? Even after that scare, still no lesson learned, huh? You know I can't save your ass every time, right? <laughs> thanks for the warning, but this is who I am. Once I catch wind of a new story, there's no stopping me until it's told. If another juicy article starts brewing, I'll fill you in on the scoop. Over a couple drinks, naturally. <laughs> Ever the fearless reporter. Still, there's a lot even I don't know about the dark side of Camarocho. Camarocho's a scarier place than I imagined. And that ends another sub-story. Sub-story, not sob-story. was not a sob-story, it was a sub-story. Okay, we're back outside. I was gonna... I was gonna head over here to the burger joint, wasn't I? Um... Yeah, let's let's try that. When I say try. Oh hello, some people to fight. Come on then. Men in black. What I should just do is I'm just gonna check my inventory. Uh find out more about my gun. T 
10 infinity. So I feel like that means that it does 10 damage that has infinite ammo. Should we try it? Okay, switch to that. Oh, wrong one. Down. Down for the gun. Okay, why didn't it lock that we bring it out? I'm going to go down. There we go. Down. Down. Down for the gun. There we go. Okay, no, that's not how you shoot someone. That's how you pistol with them. Oh, okay, that actually is dropping. Uh, down to zero. Okay, I think I just used up the pistol. Uh, okay, never mind. Well, let's go back to Brawler. I wonder if there's a way to kind of buy more ammo for it. I kind of wasted it there a bit, didn't I? Should have maybe saved it for some bosses. Never mind. It's a game about exploration. And I made a, a decent amount of money from that. Heaven knows why. Okay, so our destination is this burger joint down here. Let's see how it goes. Let's be able to fight. Come on, guys. Men in black. Three of them. Oh, and another one coming in. Oh, hello. I fancy switching to Rush style. Haven't done this for a while. Oh. Ah, almighty punch. Yeah, I like that one. Oh, this guy's charging up. And you too. Yes, and you. Can I do a finishing move? I can. Kick him in the ghoulies. Oh, we made nearly one and a half million for that fight. Classy. It was all my fault. Yeah, maybe. All right, let's uh, let's spin around to the right here. Uh, I think we're kind of we're reaching we're reaching sort of where I might be inclined to end the episode. Yeah, what are we going past on the left here? That's a karaoke bar. Yeah, definitely not. Now let's just find a convenient save point. And I know there is one just behind me. But I'm going to go to this one because it's a bit nearer to the burger joint. That leaves us in a good position for starting the next episode. And what's around here? Beef bowl restaurant. Soba noodles. Yeah, I had noodles recently. Yeah, we're going to end the episode here. All seems to be clear. No Mr. Shakedown approaching. Thank you very much for watching this episode. As usual, it's been fun, hasn't it? And I hope you'll join me next time when we're probably going to go grab some pizza, even though we know full well that the woman wants a visa. See you next time. Bye-bye.